Hey, it's Joe Glantz from Automator, and uh, this is an extract from our new course, Rising Above PC Incompetence. And when I used to work at Corporate America, I'd look around at my colleagues and watch them use a computer, uh, and it was just painful because, and I'm not knocking them, right? They they work hard, and the thing is, they work, you know, crazy hours, and then they use a PC very inadequately, like they're just not geeks, which I don't blame them, but... Um, that's what this extract, like you'll see in here, we teach you how to use a computer more efficiently, right? So real quickly, the, the course right now has is a little bit over four hours worth of content. There's 65 videos. The average length is about 3.7 minutes. So they're broken down into bite-sized things. We offer a double your money back guarantee. So whatever you pay for it, if you're not happy within the first 30 days, not only give you your money back, but we'll double what you paid for it. Um, you can get a quick outline here. I'll put the URL up on the page if you look at it. But we use, you know... Um, Learning, obviously, a lot of keystrokes, right, and navigation, just how to select text, how to do stuff with it, folder and file management. Uh, also, a lot of hotkeys for just launching, getting quickly to where you want to go, um, and just a lot of other tips. So check it out. Hope you enjoy the video. If you like the video, please like the video. It really helps us out. Check out the course if you're interested because, again, you probably use a computer a lot, and why not learn how to use it better? All right, cheers. There are some ways that you can select text in a document that are not the simple ones that you uh, might probably know about. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to show you how we can go ahead and select in different ways. And um, let's go ahead and take a look at what I mean by that. Some of the ways that you can select is just by dragging your mouse around and that selects, you know, um, as you have been noticing, uh, selects the by character. You have the double click select, which selects the whole word. And then when you're dragging, it selects the whole word. So probably you already know about those. And we discussed those in other videos. But there are other ways of selecting here. Um, let me go ahead and refresh a little bit of some of the things that we can do. You can select to the end of the line by just going to the beginning of the line, pressing shift, and then hitting end and that selects the whole line and so on. But what if I want to select from here till the end of the document? So what we did before is that if your cursor is here in the middle of the line and you press shift end, it selects from that part till the end of the line. The same happens if you do control, uh, sorry, if you, if you do shift and the beginning of the line, you can do that. So that's a shift home. But if you do shift and control home or shift control end, what happens is that now control shift end selects to the end of the document from wherever you are at. And that is something that might be very handy in certain situations in which you know, well, you know what? I want this part of the document, but from here down, I don't need it. So I could just put my, mouth, my cursor there and then control shift end. And that's it, it selects to the end of the document, to the end of the file. Or the other way around, oh, I don't want any of this, so I just click in here and do Control Shift to the top, to the home, Control Shift home, and that would actually select to the beginning of the document, and then I can just go ahead and do whatever I want with that. So, very interesting that you can do this, but how about this particular case in which we have this? Well, it just so happens that I want to remove all the twos from this text. If you drag your mouse around, you will not be able to get only the twos because when you move down, it would select everything in between those guys, right? So you cannot do that. You cannot use shift to do that either. Um, so how do you do that? How do you select down in a column? Well. If I put my mouse there and I press Control Shift down, it also doesn't work. So how do I do that? Well, that is what we call block selection. And this is a feature that it is not widespread, like it's not every single one of the editors that do this, but a very big chunk of them do. And it's usually the same way. It is with the Alt key. And in the case of Microsoft specifically, it's the Alt Shift key and then dragging that allows me to do that. Shift, because you want to select, right? So Alt, Shift, and then dragging around 
makes what is called a block selection, which is kind of like a like a and the reason why they call it a block is because it looks like a block in, in general. But uh, what I'm saying is you can select it making a, a square really of where you want to select and that then allows me to remove column data if I needed to. This is really useful in a lot of cases that um, you have a lot of lines that start with numbers, for example. So if you have a bunch of lines that start with numbers and um, it is not just simply a, a bulleted list in here, you, if, if it was because somebody actually wrote those numbers there, like 